What's your name and title? Um, I'm Kristen Toll, and I'm director of, uh, in the Health and Wellbeing Group for External Research. I work on devices, sensors, and mobility for healthcare. What is mHealth? What does that term mean? mHealth refers to being able to provide point of care solutions using cellular technology in places that you wouldn't normally be able to do that. So generally remote uh, locations like Sub-Saharan Africa, uh, rural parts of India, rural parts of Indiana, for in, in fact. It doesn't necessarily have to be inside of a, a, an emerging economy. It could be anywhere in the world. So what's most challenging? What's the biggest problems in that? Well, I, I think the biggest problems that we face is reach. And the reason why mobile health is uh, an extremely important thing to do is uh, it actually allows us to go places where we haven't been able to in the past. 90% of the world's population, for instance, lives within the range of a cell phone tower. And, you know, when we think about the deployments of PCs, you know, they're in the millions. Or they're getting actually close to a billion, but right now they're in the millions. When we talk about cell phone deployments, we're talking about four to five billion deployments of cell phones. So they're out there, they're available, and they have the kind of reach that can enable us to do more than we could say with a PC. So what's the M Health conference? What's that all about? Well, what we wanted to do was have a research conference. There are lots of M Health events that are around industry. But what we wanted to do is specifically talk about some of the research that's been done in the area to pro provide health care in these underserved communities specifically, get takeaways like key learnings from things that have gone well, things that have not gone so well, and as well as that is just try and find out how we can better scale up some of these solutions. A lot of the projects have been toy projects. We want to see how we can scale those things up to the next level. And what is your role in the conference and what's Microsoft's role? Uh, my role is actually, I'm co-chair. Uh, my co-chair is Barbara Middleman. She's actually at the office of the director of the National Institutes of Health. Um, I'm going to be uh, running the event with her. We've been running a program committee with several very key members uh, in the mHealth community and the mHealth Alliance. Um, we're going to be kicking off the event, uh, also summarizing the experience. We're pulling together also a private day so that some of these funding agencies can get together and they can talk about ways in which we can create a very strong funding stream long term. And um, why do you find this area particularly interesting and personally interesting? It's personally interesting to me is uh, Craig Bundy has this saying that every country has an emerging economy and I think that's no different whether you're talking about the United States or any country in the world. And uh, I personally grew up in one of the, what I would refer to as those emerging economy portions of the United States. I, I grew up in rural Idaho, and so I know firsthand what it is to not have the availability of health care. In fact, my family had to move to another city uh, for health care reasons. So it's personally important to me to solve this problem. But I think it's also personally important to me when I get up in the morning, I want to get in the car and I want to drive to work and I want to solve these problems. And, I know that the cell phone has that ability to reach into the communities like no other technology has in the past. So what's your expectations for the summit? My expectation is this is a great kickoff. Uh, it's the first of its kind. Um, we'll get a lot of people talking about the solutions that have been put on the ground. We'll take away some key learnings from that. We also have some panels where people will talk about where's the future. So we have several panels that are going to be talking about what are the next steps, what do we need to solve next. And then the wrap up of having the private session where we've got people sitting in a room who are funding agencies themselves talking about how we have a rich funding uh, uh, opportunity. And it really sets the tone for, for events that can happen in the future as well as really try and solve some key problems and some miscommunications that are currently taking place in this community right now. So you talk about the future, what are the next steps after the close of the summit? Well, we're going to run an event uh, next year. We've actually already got it on the books. We were completely oversubscribed for the event. We expected a couple hundred people to come. We uh, booked a room that was double the space. Uh, we've exceeded that. We're actually at fire code limits right now for the number of people who want to attend. So next time we're going to actually rent a, a space that will hold 3,000 people. And, and so we've already got that on the books for a, a next year's event. And um, we're also looking at running events like this in other, in other countries. For instance, running maybe one in Cape Town or one in Beijing as well. So what we're trying to do is 
not just have this be a U.S. focused thing, but also have this, you know, go out into the communities who really need to need to have the solutions.